In this video, we're gonna learn a toe loop on the floor. Let's head across the pond to Jono and get started. So this one is, in fact, very difficult to replicate to what you would normally be doing on the ice because the technique on the ice, as we've previously gone through before, whether you're doing a three turn, your mohawk, or your outside three turn going into it, your wally change, once you've dug your left toe in here, normally there's a draw of the foot. I call that sort of like opening the door if you go back to my previous toe loop video. So when you dig that toe in, normally again, there's that draw of the foot, which where both feet stay on the floor before pushing up into that toe loop jump. Off ice, it's very difficult to replicate that draw and up, but try and get as close to it as possible as you can. So again, keeping the entrance as similar as possible to, as to how you would do it on the ice, whether you do it from a three turn, your mohawk, or your left forward outside three turn while you change. So for this one, I'm just gonna use a simple forward inside three turn on the right foot, got my three turn check get that solid position this is your your position for pretty much every jump you're going into with that left arm checked in front of you right arm back sh right shoulder open ready to generate all that nice power for that rotation the further back you get it here and the stronger you get it the more control and the more power you're going to generate for this rotation so we've got our forward inside three turn we've got our nice strong check position with our left leg really nice and strong behind us toe pointed ready for that toe to jam into the ice so we've got our position here. From here, we're going to do it this next bit quite quickly. Toe in and lift up into your jump. So it's happened, all happened quite quickly, but if I go through it slow motion, I dug my toe in, I started to transfer my weight over to my left toe as my right foot's coming through and it drives up into the air. Now you can still only start jumping, so if I'm doing my jump towards this direction, after I put my three turn, you still want to be jumping in that direction. So keep the jump moving in the same way that you started, whether you're starting from your mohawk, change feet, still jumping in that direction, or whether you're jumping from your forward outside three turn, change feet, still jumping in that direction. So just like with the Salco and the waltz jump, your right arm and your right leg work together. So once we've done our three turn, got our nice strong check position. Once we dig our toe in, once the right leg starts moving to generate rotation coming up, look, my right arm is going with it. Right arm is going with it, left arm is staying checked. You can have it, you can let it open out a little bit here into the jump, but well, look, my left arm opens up a little bit and my shoulder is checked. So even when, as I'm coming through here and using this right arm, I'm still able to fold into the right side. For the single toe loop, that's not so important. Once we start getting to the doubles, and especially the triples, then you're gonna to need to start generating that rotation as well. But the left shoulder always stays checked with the head staying to the right, looking up into the air as you start the jump. So if I demonstrate one more time, we're gonna start with our three turn, check position, toe in, jump, nice strong landing position on a nice, soft knee for your balance and control. Big thanks to Jono for that tutorial. If you enjoyed the video guys, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see next. If you like the videos we create here, check out our Patreon page. We've got loads more content there to help take your skating to the next level.